In this video, we're going to be speaking about the most common mistakes people make when they're dieting. My name is Sharon McLaughlin, and I'm the creator of the MAC method. All right, not drinking enough water. Simply by drinking water is going to make this whole process easier. And I don't believe that there's any diet for everybody, okay? But I do believe that there's some lifestyle changes that you can do, and that's one of the things that we speak about in the MAC method. All right, fiber. Most Americans are not getting enough fiber, so that's a problem. If you're not getting enough fiber, you're not going to feel full, right? You're going to be fuller if you eat the fiber. So whole grains is really important rather than a refined grain, which I'll speak about later. But um, lentils, beans, some vegetables have fiber in it, artichokes, you know, different types of vegetables. I can give you a list if you reach out to me, I'll be more than happy to do that. But look to increase your fiber intake. So you could turn around, look at packages, you could, like with the vegetables, you can just Google it, find out which ones have the most amount of fiber and then stick with those, all right? I always say try to stick with the vegetables that grow above ground compared to lower. That's like, that's usually a pretty good indicator. All right, so we spoke about water, we spoke about fiber. Protein. Protein is very important. And the reason for that, it's going to make us feel full for longer periods of time. Now, when we think about protein, we, we normally think about meats, you know, animal meats. And I can tell you there's a fair amount of literature to show that if we replace unsaturated fat, uh, we replace saturated fat with unsaturated fat, it's a safer way to go. I have a video on that, so take a look at that. But basically, it's replacing plant-based fats uh, with you know, animal fats. It's a safer way to go. So, but nonetheless, try to get your protein in just about every meal because that's going to um, enable you to go longer periods of time without feeling hungry. No one wants to feel hungry when they're trying to watch their weight, all right? Reading labels. Reading labels is very important. It's something that you really should do and we should use trackers. But going back to the labels, Make sure that you know how much fat you're taking in, how much protein, you should know your macronutrients, how many, how many carbohydrates, how many sugars. We really want to stay away from foods that have added sugars in it. Fruits are okay, they have sugar, but they have fiber too, which helps that, you know, which helps. So be careful about, you know, how much sodium you're taking in. When you're eating a lot, eating or drinking a lot of sodium, that's going to make you retain water. So if you hop on the scale and you're like, well, it's not budging, it's probably because you're retaining some water. That can certainly be contributing to this. So we spoke about sodium. The other thing would be the added sugars, which I spoke about. Be careful of the drinks. Unfortunately, a lot of times that when we're doing our drinks, they have a ton of sugar in them, all right? and low-fat foods, which I kind of spoke about. They have a lot of sugar in them. Just read the ingredients. If you feel read the ingredients and you see that there's sugar added or just reading the label, if you see that sugar's added, all these foods are common mistakes that people make. Think we hear low-fat, we think, oh, this is good for my diet. That's not necessarily the case, depending on what the food is made out of, how much added sugar is in there. The manufacturers do this because they want their foods to be appealing, but at the same time, it's not really helping us in the long run, all right? I also get into inflammation. Unfortunately, sugar causes inflammation and that's going to set us up for chronic diseases. It's going to increase our risk of chronic diseases. But I digress. Let's go back to the weight loss part and the common mistakes that people make. So even the drinks, okay? You have to be very careful because a lot of the drinks that we, we <coughs> I'm sorry, we drink, they have added sugar in them and that adds calories. And if we don't burn up those calories, it just kind of sits around. So if you're going to be doing carbohydrates, which gives us energy, think about complex carbohydrates. Try to get it from a whole grain, such as farro, um, wheat, wheat berries, lots of different ways to get that without actually doing anything even processed. You could sprinkle them on, my, on a salad. That's what I tend to do. <coughs> Lentils are another thing that has fiber too. So all of these foods that are considered whole grain can really make this whole diet process easier. You don't necessarily have to count your calories all the time. Although in the beginning, I do think it's important to track because the studies will show that people that track have a higher chance of losing weight. I think it makes us more aware, right? We're more aware of what we're eating. And if we don't know what we're eating, like if we kind of guess estimate, you know, it's better to actually know, right? To have real data than kind of guess, right? That makes common sense. But once you get accustomed to this, and like I said, most people tend to eat the same foods over and over again, you know, you'll find like three or four breakfasts that work, three or four lunches that work, and then maybe you can, you know, vary a little bit more when it comes to dinner. But always make sure, these are the things that I do, um, have a ton of vegetables with each meal because they fill you up. And I always make sure that I eat the vegetables first rather than the other foods that, you know, maybe taste like have sauces and marinades on them. And I guess, unfortunately, we're so um, 
you know, addicted to them. But I'm going to talk about addiction in another video, food addiction. So take a look for that. But those are basically the common mistakes that people make when they're they're on a diet, right? They will even skip meals, which we spoke about. You just have to be careful because in the end, if you're eating way too many calories because you were so hungry and you're famished and you know you scarf down, you know, half a bag of something, it's just not good. It's going to make that dieting that much difficult. So if you're interested in the Mac method, what I do is I have um, we do a challenge to begin with. We get some shakes with some exercise and there's a lot of mindset work and I give you some workbooks to work through that. So that's just a week. It's $30 if you're interested for now. Reach out to me. The price will be going up, but I you know, love to talk to you about that. And if not, I'll see you guys on another video. I love teaching about this. I like this is something that I'm very passionate about. You know, weight's been on my mind for a number of years. So I'm happy to have lost the weight. And most importantly, that I'm able to keep it off. So again, my name is Sharon McLaughlin. I am the creator of the Mac Method. And I will see you guys on another video. If you like this, go ahead and give, give it a thumbs up, write some comments, and also subscribe to my channel. Bye, guys.